Bef without say uh, wasting any of the time, we can ask Dr. Ashwini <coughs> to put his defense. Uh, let's go to the uh, my talk, the financing your private practice by debt part. So before going to debt part, the mindset is more important. Before you start your own setup to know, overcome the fear of losing, fear of going bankrupt, fear of not able to run your clinic, fear of competition. So once you overcome, then comes the debt part or equity part. So there is no growth in the comfort zone. There is no comfort in the growth zone. So mark my word, nothing will happen. Your center will make you earn from the day one. Once you decided to uh, open your center, you need money. So you, that is from your own saving or parental inherited or debt or loan or as a doctor said, uh, to dilute your liquidity or start slow and grow with increase in your revenue or your well-wishers of friends, seniors give you loan without any interest. So debt, a burden or boon. So depending on your caliber to grow your business. So if you look at data, HDFC Bank has 58 lakh crore of loan. Reliance has 31 lakh crore loans. So these companies, are biggest companies in India, still they have loan, so much loan. So loan debt are not bad if used properly. In fact, government gives loans to doctor in less interest. I will defer. I, post COVID, the loans have become easier because government set target to increase, gives target to banks to give loans at lower cost to the doctors and there are different schemes by different governments uh, where government support organization by giving some money to the healthcare because they are generating the uh, employees employment so the, uh, during my uh, when i want to opening the semi center there is aragyam scheme by sbi which they are providing 7.95 interest uh, for doctors and in himachal one of a senior open center they give 25 percent of capital subsidy if you invest one crore they will deposit that amount after two to three years you can uh, remove that money from your account so every state have their own rule you have to look for that so there is a whether it's a good loan or a bad loan there is a talk on this in our instruction course in the same hall at four o'clock so the advantage is you can start with the bank if you take a loan and take all type of machines so that you don't have to refer to patient to another center patient will have confidence to get all treatment under one roof you can do marketing you can do invest in interior first impression is the last impression you can hire marketing person because you have money in your hand so basically money is there so footfall will start increase from the beginning the disadvantage is you pay for more to the bank you will under stress if you don't meet your emi ultimately it's business and like every business there will be good days or bad days don't take excessive loan so that you have feel burden if something happens just like i broke my ankle after i start my clinic so it, taking a loan at that time because my headache. So there are disadvantages are there still, but the it out overcomes the benefits. So if there is a risk, so it is worth taking. So there is a risk every, everything that isn't. So how to overcome the disadvantages? Start with a group of, group of doctors, share the loan, have backup plan. You should have at least six months of survival money with you. And debt from friends and families, uh, best option, they don't take interest. I got almost 50, 25 to 30 lakhs from my friends without any question for I have to pay within the next three years, although I am uh, debt free now. All thanks to them, they invested in me, so trust on me. So there is no burden of EMI in those scenarios. So my take, don't ever hesitate to take loans to build your expand business. Don't take a loan to buy land and to build the building and then interior because it takes time so that in, during that time you have to pay the interest so you won't be earning during that period best is if somebody investor gives money to you as a loan without interest you need to be lucky i think i'm very fortunate so my take is to take a loan to expand i'm thinking to take a loan uh, when i want to expand so thank you Yeah, Dr. Ashwini, thank you so much. Uh, I would want uh, Dr. Ashish's pointers on this. So yes, uh, this is an important, uh, you know, question on uh, how to grow and expand your practice. But it should basically start with a, you know, very simple question as to what we want from a 30, 35 year career as to how much uh, amount we want to put in practice and save. If you want to invest 30,000 or 50,000 per month, for your future, for your family, or for your retirement fund, and how much risk you want to take. The remaining you can either, you know, go for a loan or uh, self-funded. Uh, certain options where you can lower the loan interest is loan against property. If you have a house or a commercial place, you can give that as a collateral. Gold loans are cheaper at about 9% interest. Uh, that is a good option. And uh, 
as uh, we are starting is we should start slow and uh, then gradually add more and more equipments uh, into our practice also we can negotiate uh, monthly payments from dealers they usually give us 12 to 14 months or even 24 months of emi options on equipments which are more expensive part bundling on iols is also a good option but it should be comfortable and we should not be forced to do you know more than maybe 30% of our lens usage per month into the bundling that would be a comfortable buy again uh, you know buying indian equipments from indian companies would be a good option to start than starting with mnc's uh, see patients usually want results they want lower cost of testing ultimately the cost of the equipment will be borne by the patients only uh, in mumbai i have doctors you know who charge even 9000 10000 rupees for an oct scan because they have an heidelberg machine so we have to Uh, you know rationalize what we are uh, you know spending and buying and it is see basically uh, we are trying to create a moat like how apple is as a company so over 5 year 10 years of practice we have to decide what our moat would be so uh, more number of equipments having a complete center we have to see uh, you know how the others are playing the game and it's a very dynamic uh, market and lot of things are changing in the next 5 to 10 years Anyone else from the panel if they want to speak up on this? Yeah. You know, we learn from examples that we follow, and uh, if we look at uh, if when we begin, probably we have lot more anxiety and lot more. We we don't know if we have faith in ourselves that what we will become in the coming years, and at that point, probably a loan is a safer option. But once we have built a repute in few years time when the chances of disheartening the shareholders is less or we have reached a point of stability where we know that now we are talking about growth and not just the starting point at that point probably equity makes more sense like uh, a good example is probably dr devi shetty and uh, if we look at it when he started probably somewhere in 2000 2001 it it was just him he it was on him at that point if probably when he was not dr devi shetty i don't know if you'd have had so many investors in him but if you look at the growth yeah, i think they made the company uh, narayan hridayalay became a uh, private or like it uh, became a equity market somewhere in 2015 but in that time if you see the growth from 2000 to 2015 it's not huge he probably had from 1 to 4 he grew from 1 to 4 so it looks like it's a small growth but he uh, built himself he built the name he built the company and once everybody knew who he is and what they're investing into when th at that point it, it became came into the market from 2015 to now it grew to 50 so the percentage just drew manifold so it's probably a point also that at which point we are going into equity and which point it is still at uh, you know we begin with a loan maybe so it's at yeah so thank you dr uh, epsita 